Hello, good afternoon. Please unmute your microphones. Hello. Oh. Please unmute your microphones for me. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Good Please uh, leave your number and your full name in the chat so I can check your attendance, okay? Type in your number and your full name. Okay, just leave a message or say hi in the chat so I can check who is uh, joining our meeting. So we have 21 students as of now. Please unmute your microphones. Hello. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready for our online uh, class? Yes. No, no, no. do I? Okay, are we ready? So let's start. Oh, no. So, our subject for today is science. And our topic is about... Do you, do you know what is our topic? Do you know what is our topic for today? Something. Light. And something. So, our topic for today is about sound energy. Sound energy. Let's start. So, what is sound? For you, what is sound? What is your idea about sound? If you want to answer, please unmute your microphone. What do you think is sound? Air, vib air vibrates. Okay. So, sound is anything that we can hear. Now let's go with the definition of sound. Can everybody read this one? Anyone or everyone? Sound is a form of energy that can be heard and travels in waves. Very good. Sound is a form of energy that can be heard and travels in waves. Next definition. Uh, when matter vibrates or moves back and forth very quickly, a sound is made. Okay, very good. When matter vibrates or moves back and forth very quickly, sound is made. Next definition. Want to read? Sounds. Is a kind of energy that can be heard. Okay, very good. Sound is a kind of energy that can be heard. Next meaning. Ding. A sound is made Ding. when things vibrate. Okay. A sound is made when things vibrate. Next. Who want to read? Sound, sound travels travel in waves. waves. Okay. You can read all together or... If anyone can read, you can read. X. A sound must travel through matter to be heard. Okay. Sound must travel through matter to be heard. X. The vibrating object makes the air around it. Vibrate. Okay. The vibrating object makes the air around it vibrate. X. Anyone else? The vibration moves through the um, air into um, your air yeah. yes, and make the air drum vibrate. Okay. Sound vibrations move through the air 
into your ears and make the eardrums vibrate. So let's define sound waves. Is it all right? Uh, you don't need to write. You can watch again this video if you don't understand or if you miss something, okay? Okay. I will, I will send you the link for this video. So, what uh, is sound wave? Uh, <laughs> okay, sound waves can travel through solid, liquid, or gases. Example, when a school bell rings, part of the bell will vibrate, creating sound. Next. Okay. Sound travels through matter. So the first one is about gases. So sound can travel through gases. Most of the sounds we hear travel through gases, such as sound from a bell, a horn, or alarm clock travels through the air. So can you give other examples for uh, examples of sound that travels through air? You speak. Okay, when I speak, the sound travels through the air. Or when your phone rings, the sound travels through the air. When you watch television or listen to radio, the sound travels through the air. Next, we have... Sound travel through liquids. Some sounds that we heard travel through water. Sonar is the way to use sound to locate objects under the water. Can you give me examples of things that uses sonar or how liquid travels through water? Dolphin. Okay, dolphins. What else? Whale. Whale, yes. How about uh, things? Uses sound energy in the water. Um, speaker that waterproof and we use it under the water. Okay, yes, we can. Also, we, uh, submarine. Submarine uses sound waves. They use sonar to locate things under the water. And the last one, sound travel through solids. Some sounds that we heard travel through solids. For example, when you hit a drum, it vibrates. And the sound travels through the air to your ears. Can you think of a place where sound cannot travel through the air. You're in Airplane. space. Space, yes, very good, in space. And on the moon. So on the moon, the, uh, you cannot hear sound. That's why astronauts use radios to talk to each other. Uh, how do we read this word? Pitch. Pitch. So pitch is the highest or lowest sound an object makes. Object that vibrates slowly make a low pitch. Example is a drum. And objects that vibrates quickly makes a higher pitch. So the slower the vibration, the slower the vibration, the lower the pitch. Right. Right. Uh, you don't need to write. You don't need to write. And 
if the vibration is quick or fast, the higher the pitch. If you want to copy, you can just uh, take a screenshot or take a photo. Next, let's go on with loudness or volume. So volume is the loudness or the softness of a sound. Loud sounds use a lot of energy. Soft sounds use a little energy. Sample, the harder a drum is hit, the more the drum will vibrate. The more an object vibrates, the louder the sound it makes. Uh, let's go on. So how does sound travel? Sound passes through the medium as longitudinal waves. When the vibration are fast, you hear a high pitch. When they are slow, you hear a low pitch. As I said a while ago, the higher the uh, the faster the vibration, the higher the pitch. The slower the vibration, the lower the pitch. So here. If you can see these blue lines here, these are the waves or vibration of, an, of a sound. So the faster... The faster the vibration, the higher the pitch. And in this part, we have slower vibration and it has lower pitch. How else can we make, how else can we change sound? We can make it louder or softer by changing the amplitude of the height of the wave. The higher amplitude, the louder the sound. The lower the amplitude, the softer the sound. Ah, uh, here. The line on top is higher, so it makes the sound loud, but the line below or the wave below is uh, shorter, so the sound is softer. We use our vocal cord to make sounds in our throat. Where is your throat? Does your throat vibrate to make sound? So now, where is your throat? Uh, who can show me where is the throat? Anna, where's your throat? Okay, very good. Here, this is your throat. Chip call, chip call. So try to put your hands on your throat. Not inside, outside. Try to feel your throat. And speak. Say something. What do you feel? Vibrations. Okay, there is a vibration. That is we call vibrate, okay? When we speak, our vocal cord vibrate. Place your hands on your throat when you talk and you can feel the vocal cord vibrating. So put, all your, uh, put your hands on your throat and say your name. You can say your name or you can say, hi, can you feel the vibration? Uh, yes. Yes. How about the others? Can you feel the vibration when you talk? Yes. Yes. Me too. Yes. Okay. Yes. Me too. Hi. Me too. Okay. So that is how we make sound through our uh, vocal cords. How do sound People, yeah. travel? This is how do sound travel. First, sound waves are sent. So, what are some sources of sounds? Can you give me example of sources of sounds? Where do sound comes from? Again. Again? 
Okay. Sound comes from human when they talk. What else? Um, What radio. other examples? Again? Radio. Oh, radio. Wow. Radio. What else? Television. Television. Very good. Computer. Computer. Telephone. Telephone. Or phones. Very good. So iPad. the first. Okay. First step or iPad. first part of how we hear sound is the sound waves are sent. The second, the outer ear catches the sound wave. Where's your ear? Okay, here. This is your ear. The outer ear. It's outside. This is our outer ear. This is our outer ear. Can you see? It's outside. That's why it's called outer ear. So the outer ear catches the sound waves. And then the middle ear takes the sound waves and vibrates the eardrum. So this is our middle ear. And you know, the, where's the eardrum? The eardrum is here. Okay. There is the eardrum. So the inner ear send a message to the brain. So this part is the inner ear. Then the brain puts it together so you can understand the sound. So these are the process of how we hear the sound. Now let's go with parts of the ear. Do you know? Yes. Yes. But I don't remember. You cannot remember. Okay. You studied before? Yes. yes. Okay. Me too. So we will study again. So there are how many parts? How many parts of the ear? Ten. 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 Okay. Ten. Who can guess what is number one? Yeah. What is number one? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, this is, these ear. are all parts of your ear. But there is a name for a specific specific uh, part of it. Um, number one is the outer ear. I, I think you have it uh, on your book. If you have your science book, you can open. It's there. Oracle. <laughs> Oracle. Science. Is this Oracle? No. No, I don't think there is. I don't have. Oh, there it is. Ah, what is the, it? What the is it? canal? No, no, no. Number one. Number one first. Number one. Is it there? It, it doesn't say. Okay. So the first or number one part is the peanut. Pina is the outer ear. Can you say it? Pina. Please. Okay, Pina. So, how about number two? Number two. What is number two? Can anyone ear guess what is canal. number two? Number ear two canal. is ear canal. Ear canal. Ear canal. Ear. Very good. Ear canal. Number three. Yeah. Number three. Is ear drum very good? That's the ear drum. Number four. Four. Number four is. You don't have. Man, 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 
Ah. Uh, di araw, no di araw. Um, wait. Hey, what? Number uh I thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll draw an arrow. I'll draw a line. So number 4 is this part. I mean, like, I can see that, but, like, it's black and white, and it's not. Okay. It starts with letter S. Animal? Do lap. Stir up. Stir up. Stir up. Very good. Stir up. How about number five? Wait. Anvil. Number five. I think I have one number. Okay, very good. Anvil. 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 Number six. Hammer. Hammer. Okay, it's hammer. Number seven. Seven. Cock. 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 Wait. It's disappeared. Okay. No, yeah. Okay. okay, semicircular canals. Number eight, auditory nerve that connects eight. to your brain. And number nine is cochlea. Oh, cochlea. <laughs> and for number ten, it's your station two. So these are the different parts of the ear. The inner ear, or the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. Did you draw? You want to draw? Draw what? You want to no. draw the parts? No. 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 <laughs> No, 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 uh, no. No, I like to know. So you can just uh, take a yes, screenshot. I have apple pen. Uh -huh, no. You can just take a screenshot or watch this video again later. Next. Oh, so that is the end of the PowerPoint that I prepared. Okay, so... Did you understand the le our lesson for today? Yes. It's easy. Yes. Yes. Lemon it is easy. Easy. So easy. It's, it's easy okay. peasy lemon squeeze. It's easy. So, no more questions? No, I don't have any questions. Okay, so that's all for today. And please don't forget to leave a comment or message in uh, in the chat so I can check your attendance. Um. Okay. What? Okay, I'll give you one minute or two minutes to leave a message okay. in chat. Message what? Any message. You can say hi or good afternoon so that I can check hi. your attendance. Hey, I have something. This is a good thing. I will pass, I will pass your attendance to your advisors. Good day. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. I don't finish yet. This is too hard to do. Just leave a message. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Any message from you? Click the link. Okay. Uh, is everybody done leaving their message? Um, I literally paste it for like one thousand and two times. You can just leave one message. It's it's enough. I can leave. Uh, no more questions? No. Okay, goodbye and I'll see you again next time. Bye. 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 Bye.